really don't. Yes. We all. I love you too. Do the tutorial as promised. Ooh, it's right here. You get a ton of lores and spells and you're like, how in the heck am I supposed to organize and keep track of all this and find everything I need to find and then I'm like, do share my knowledge, cast my spell. Solution. Find yourself a $5 dictionary or an encyclopedia. It's huge, it's massive, it's impressive when you slam them down on tables. And they have these little notches in them, which are alphabetized, perfect for just taking your spell or your lore and just gluing it there on the page in alphabetical order so you can just flip to the page you need. Now, let me show you how to make it look pretty. Things you will need for this project are a paper bag from the grocery store, scissors, chalk or some sort of erasable fabric marker, a dictionary or encyclopedia with alphabetized notches, hot glue gun with hot glue sticks, about a quarter yard of fabric or soft leather, spray glue, 3M77 spray is my favorite, a leather belt which can be found at a thrift store, a leather hole punch, anything else you want to use to decorate your book, black acrylic paint or fabric paint, a sponge or paper towel, bowl for mixing paint, a printer and paper. First, you're going to make a book cover pattern out of the paper sack. Rip off the handles, then rip the bag at the seam and then cut out the bottom. Center your book on the paper and trace the top and bottom edges of the book. Fold down the edges on your top and bottom markings towards the center of the bag, about two inches or whatever resizes the paper to match how tall your book is. Place your book on the folded edges and center the book. Fold the paper over the cover of the book and over the cover, wrapping around the inside. Fold the paper over the cover of the book and wrap it around the inside of the cover. You're basically creating a pocket. Flip the book over and do the same thing. If your paper is too long, cut it to fit. Now you have your book cover pattern. Place the pattern on the material you are using. I am using a faux suede. Trace your pattern on the fabric using chalk or a fabric marker that washes off. I wanted thicker pocket folds on the top and bottom of my cover, so when I traced my pattern, I added a few more inches to the top and bottom. Now repeat the steps that you did when you made the book cover pattern, but this time I'm using spray glue and hot glue to tack the fabric down to the actual book. You can use a foam and fabric spray, but my personal favorite is 3M77 spray. You can also use Elmer's glue, though that has a tendency to get saturated and bleeds through the fabric. Spray the cover and the fabric. Fold the cover over the book and smooth out the fabric. You can also leave the wrinkles in to add character to the book. Slip the edge of the book into the pocket you created. Flip over your book and do the same thing to the other side. I wanted to keep it simple and rustic, so I chose a leather belt from a thrift store. I sized up the belt and cut off the excess leather. Next, I marked where my hole needed to be for the buckle. I'm using a flexible glue called E6000. It's a really good universal crafting glue, though it takes forever to dry. You can also use hot glue or hammer rivets through the belt and cover. I wanted to give the color and texture of my spellbook Fizzrup more depth. I am taking a sponge and some watered down black acrylic paint and dabbing the paint lightly on the book. You can also do this with a crumpled up paper towel. Lastly, print out the spells or lores and use the spray glue to glue the pages in alphabetical order in your book. 